you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he descends to the lowest heaven at the time of the Hajj, before Fajr prayer. What? No, he doesn't. The correct meaning is that Allah sends an angel to say those things. Or that the mercies and the blessings descend in the last third of the night. But to claim that Allah physically descends is blasphemous, incorrect, and illogical. Illogical. Why is it so hard for you guys to put the Quran and the Sunnah over your logic? What do you mean illogical? In the over 20 hadith that have been narrated on this, in Bukhari and Muslim, the two Sahih, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam attributed the, the descent with Allah. Don't you think if it was the angels, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wouldn't clarify that? Is the Prophet not the one with the most knowledge of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? Basic principle in the study of Islam is if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam attributes something to Allah, then he is the one that's doing it. So if the Prophet says that Allah descends at the third of the night every single night, then that's what we take from the hadith. We don't say how, we don't know how he descends. We don't know when he, where he descends, but we know that he descends. And the rest, we leave it up to Allah. It's illogical for Allah to descend every night. How? Allah does as he pleases. He does as he wants and he could do anything. So how is that illogical? You got to stop trying to put logic above Quran and Hadith. We have to stop. Allah descends however it befits his majesty. But if the prophet says Allah descends, then Allah descends. What are his angels? What are you talking about? Like the prophet said Allah descends. Do you think the prophet would have known if it was the angels descending? Do you think the Prophet made a mistake? Or do you just think you know better than the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Because I'm, I'm confused here. The only reason I made this video is because you got a lot of views and, and you're leading a lot of people to the wrong path. Because you guys are the ones that says Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is not above his throne. But hey, may Allah help us to understand this deen of ours and, and to put it into practice.